Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on how to load data from Excel sheet into SQL tables. There are two ways to load the data from Excel to tables database by using import wizard and by using the exercise package. So we already know how to load the data of Excel sheet into the SQL tables using the exercise package. So now in this demo I want to show how to use the import wizard to load the data from Excel sheet to so without wasting the time, let's jump into the demo. So this is my country table. Currently, there is no data. Just three columns are there. I want to show the uh, data related to the, in the Excel sheet. There is also country data. So uh, there are three columns: ID, name, and code. Don't bother about the quality of the data. This is repeated by IDs are appear in the sheet. But I, my intention is to show the input wizard, not about the data. These full records I want to load from Excel sheets to this table. Currently, this table doesn't have any data. Uh, how to load the Excel sheet by using the input wizard? So, to to activate the import wizard, to get the import wizard in the MS SQL Server Management Studio, just you have to go to the database, the relevant database, right click, there are tasks are there, and go down completely. Here there is import data and export data, all these things are there. Click the import data. Whenever you click the import data, some, import data, some wizard will open like this. So go next. So it will ask the data source here. See here. What is your data source? Now I am selecting the data source here. Excel sheet. Excel sheet. And browse from where you can get the data. From which part? This is the country data. D drive files. I am open the data. And the next. So here choose the destination. The destination here I am going for SQL Server native client 11.0. Immediately it will ask the it will prompt you to list your admin name, admin server name. In my case it is admin. I am selecting this one. If you if you have you SQL authentication, you need to provide username and password. So, in my case, it is used Windows authentication only. In database, I already selected sample database. Go to next. Here, there is two options copy data from one or more table or views and uh, write a query to specific data to transfer. Now, I want to copy and enter the data. For that sake, this uh, already default radio button. I don't want to change this one and go to next. Here you see the source here is sheet one, uh, sheet one dollar sheet one. There is only one sheet. Now here destination admin. Which table you want to select here? I want to select the country table. Country table. If you want to do some um, mappings, you have to go to edit mappings to check the names of the columns. See here, ID, name and uh, code is there in Excel sheet. The destination is different. ID is here. Country name. Country name is there in SQL table. And the region code also there in SQL table. See here. In database. See, ID, country name, uh, region code. So, I mapped all these things accordingly, click OK and go next and type mapping. So, everything is tick mark, you check this one, everything is tick. And there is no change the data types or data lengths also. So, go next again. There are two options here. By default, it will check the run immediately or if you want to save the package in SS package, this one. Now I want to do only run immediately. 
I don't want to save this package in a space format. Go next. So this is the complete wizard performance. Whatever you did in the wizard, all these steps are uh, finally appear in this wizard. In final slide. Source, location, whatever the Microsoft OLED bit, source provider, and admin destination location, and a destination provider, copy uh, rows from sheet 1, dollar sheet 1 to DPO, country dot table. The new rows will be appended to the existing table. So currently there is no data in the table. All rows are appended. All are new rows loaded to the table. Package will not save. Package will run immediately. Just finish. Close and we'll check the uh, entry table here. All 12 records in Excel sheet, whatever there are in Excel sheet, all records are appear in the country table. Uh, this is how <coughs> you need to load the Excel data into the SQL tables by using the import. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.